All right, uh, uh, can I speak today? Okay. Have my favorite newest 2021 palettes. These palettes are I have gotten this year only. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, these shouldn't be in any kind of order, but you know, why not? So this one I've dug into like once or twice maybe this year and we are in June. So that's sad, but this is a really good palette from ColourPop. So Jaded, oh my goodness. I don't even know who Catherine Lights is. Um, <laughs> some clouds I don't even know, but this color story speaks like, how I love to do my makeup. I love grungy tones and if I didn't have the subculture, I think I'd be okay just having this in my collection. That's like saying something. <laughs> I like the tones in here and this is one of my favorites. Need to dig in to it more, but next month I will. That's a sneak peek. <laughs> okay, and the Glam Light Donut is super cute. <laughs> I love pink. Pink's my favorite color, and this is what it looks like. Very colorful. It's one of my best palettes. I like the color story. Even though these two are neutral, it I can make look using these. All of these. Very cute. Love the packaging as well. Of course, Glam White has the cutest packaging. I am wanting, needing <laughs> the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream, is it called? Yeah, that is on my wish list. I think that's the last palette on my wish list. So I got the BH Zodiac Love Signs. This is really, really good. And no order, I just love them all. And these are just, these palettes stand out the most in this year of using it this year. And I want to dig more into these palettes. That's how good they are. <laughs> um, this is so beautiful. They have some gorgeous colors in here. And I'm just like, yeah. Definitely need to dig, I probably like two times. <laughs> I'm horrible, but I have so many palettes. Um, this Friends X um, Revolution palette. We are on a break, and this is what it looks like. Very beautiful. I'm so happy I got this. And plus, it was like a colorful palette. Had to get it. And Friends. <laughs> um, this is the Sailor Moon X ColourPop. Really like neutral, but like pops of colors. Really beautiful. I really do enjoy this formula. Super shock shadow right in here, and I'm just loving. I've been using this quite a bit, and it's in my project hand, so excuse me. I need to dig more into this um, Hip Dot palette with SpongeBob. This is Imagination palette. Must have on this Imagination palette. <laughs> Um, this is so cute. You got pressed glitters and a shimmer right here. Very beautiful. I love this color. And two mattes. Very nice. Love it. This Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette. I think the Wahala 1 and 2 is a must have. I am waiting on number 1. Because it came out, it just recently sold out again. And I don't know when it's coming back. I always check like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited to get the first one that I've been waiting on to come back in stock. And then I bought this and this was always in stock. But it comes in and out like in Juvia's Place website. So yeah, if I think this is worth getting. <laughs> This is really good, very pigmented. Um, the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette, it's really beautiful. Great for fall. I really do enjoy how pigmented it is. Blends really well, I do enjoy this palette as well. 
the Urban Decay Naked Palette Ultraviolet. This is really good. I love the color story. I wanted this when it came out, but of course, <laughs> waited a little while and I'm glad I waited. I love the formula and this blue right here is so beautiful. I love all these tones right here. So beautiful. I'm glad I finally have it in my collection and I need to play with it more. I played with it twice and I'm just like, I need to play with it more. Just do. This is really good Hot Topic. Um, this is the Beetlejuice palette. I love the story. Color story in this. It's beautiful. You get two highlighters. Not like the, what, <laughs> expensive palette where you don't get two highlighters in and you have the greens and purples. I think that's a great combination with the a white and black in it too. I like all of the colors. Very beautiful. And this is like a green highlight. I love that. So if you can't afford the expensive Melt Cosmetics, get this from Hot Topic. And they the formula gotten better. It gotten better. It did. Because it was like very powdery. And this is not as powdery like it was, you know, the older palettes I have from Hot Topic. So that's a must have. It's really good. And then last one is the Glam Light. Cake palette. These glam lights are really good. I, I can't wait. I got them. I ordered the Michaela one, even though I don't, you know, I don't have TikTok. And I seen her Instagram, and um, of course I'm following Glam Light, and I'm like, ooh, I I think I seen her like unbox Boxy Charm like in a video, and I was like, hmm. So when she like talks about her palette and talks about you know, in her uh, recent Instagram post about her palette, I thought it was like really sweet and nice. So I picked it up because I love the color story as well. And she seems like, like a nice girl. So I'm glad to get some glam light and I'm waiting still on the ice cream palette that I want to order. <laughs> and this is the color story. I love this. This is such a good palette. I keep using this one. <laughs> And I'm using that today. I love this color story. Very nice. Um, so yeah, that is my favorite newest 2021 palettes that I've gotten this year. Loving all of these. These are a must-haves in your collection. They're all really great. Even though some have came out a couple years ago, last year, year before that. And I just got into makeup like three years ago. <laughs> so I'm really loving palettes. And since I got BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm made me be addicted to palettes on buying more and more palettes. So I stopped getting BoxyCharm and then I just been buying and wanting palettes from everywhere else and wanting to try new brands. So. I got so many palettes. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. Bye for now.